Breaking news coming out of Yamahanze village is that one of Ayamawa's foot soldiers, one of Ayamawa's warriors, one of Ayamawa's student, his best student who graduated from the school of scamming in the Yamahanze village has scammed an American woman, an old American woman, out of a lot of money, allegedly by using photos of a grieving woman who lost her sons by the hands of Kenyan's cops in 2021. Emotional damage! Why? What? Actually, I'm biter. What? I'm biter. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm actually, I'm biter. Why? I'm biter. Alright. <laughs> I'm biter. I'm biter that you are lying. What? It's your girl in the house. It's your girl Pebbles. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pebbles Hall. Thank you for always coming back to watch me. It's a pleasure having you here with me this morning. It is Wednesday morning and winter is coming. Yesterday I went outside without a, a jacket and or a blazer um, sleeveless and I it was so cold. I thought it was winter in New York. So thank you for coming back to watch me. Please subscribe to my channel if my content interests you. If you like your girl, if you like seeing your girl, if you like the shenanigans, subscribe to my channel, okay? Don't forget to hit the like button. I love when you hit the like button and comment. I reply to all your comments as long as they are respectful. If they are not, exit stage left because I will clap back at you so fast you wouldn't know what hit you, okay? Anyway, guys, today we have a lot to cover. Well, a few things. And I said I was not going to react. I was not going to react on this guy because I have no time. But I made time for this fool, okay? I made time for this scammer. I certainly did. Oh, and what's hot on the plate in the Yabahanze village? Of shenanigans of that scammer village. Yes, it's now a scammer village. It has been confirmed. It's a scammer village, Yabahanze village where all these young men are scamming older women um, around the world, um, specifically in America, okay? This is what they are doing using several different tactics. And yesterday, Nairobi teacher, thank you. Thank you for bursting the bubble of one of um, I am Mawa's foot soldier, one of the people who um, he has mentored and, you know, has helped and one of his foot soldiers who fight for him every single day, one of his master class students, his best master class students, well, second best, Mayugno is the first, okay? But this one is one of the second best master class students from um, Bila Medellin, Yesterday, Nairobi teacher burst the bubble of how he allegedly scammed an older woman in America. And this woman is coming forward with text messages, voice notes, receipts of the lies that she was told for her to have a sympathy for this guy and sent him money. The emotional, the emotional damage that he did to this older woman to gain a sympathy so that he can get money from her. A young, healthy, strong man. His name is none other than Prince Odinga. Yes, the guy who always reacts on me. He looks like he is an older guy because he has so many wrinkles in his forehead. Like, I thought he was an old guy, but I heard that he's very young. But all the scamming on the lies, each lie, there's a wrinkle in the middle of his forehead at that young age. <laughs> it's a testament that all he does is sit by those rocks <laughs> and scam older people in America. And so yesterday, Nairobi teacher broke the news of what happened. Apparently, this guy lied to this woman, I guess one of his supporters, because as you know, these people have a lot of supporters um, backing them, because as long as they talk about Ayamawa or they fight for Ayamawa, there are a lot of older women 
who love them and will send them money and will do things for them and you know it's kind of take a liking to them and this uh, maybe this this is what happened maybe this is one of those women who used to all also um tell him hey react on these negative reactors these so-called i don't consider myself a negative reactor they made up that name reactor i am a reactor <laughs> okay so maybe she was one of those people who say oh i like you yes 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 go hammer them hammer them I'm, I'm, i will send you money or whatever the case may be and so he had to make up stories sometimes to get money from some of these people and apparently what he did was he lied that his wife passed away or got hit by a bus <laughs> and this is you know this is like an old trick that scammers use it's an old trick it's not just africans who use this trick guys it's it's all over okay <laughs> it's all over um his wife got hit by a bus she's in the hospital whatever next thing you know the wife died you know these are some of the text messages i'm not going to go through and post everything because it's on nairobi teacher broke this news it's his information and i will not i would not be doing him justice if i post all the information here so what i would recommend is for you to go to nairobi teachers um youtube channel and watch the entire saga the entire drama he has everything laid out there for you guys to see so he scammed this woman like i said by you know just playing with her emotionally lying to her sending fake pictures fake pictures of other dead people fake pictures of um other people mourn mourning this dead this dead person pictures that he got from the internet that he downloaded of real people who were mourning their family people that he doesn't know and he sent these pictures to this woman in america pretending that these are his family and he is mourning this dead wife how heartless can you be? Not only are you damaging the woman that you're sending these pictures to, but you're also damaging the person, picture who you use. Okay? These are real people who mourn their, you know, their, their dead, you know? Real people who went through grief for their own family and you're using their picture to steal money from an american woman an old woman who said that she works from paycheck to paycheck in america and you didn't care prince Adinga. you didn't care if this woman had food on her table you didn't care if she was able to pay her light bill and i'm assuming if she's working from paycheck to paycheck she's you know probably renting or something could hardly afford her rent in america because like everyone knows america is a tough place to live if you don't have money to pay your bills you can't survive here and this woman was barely making it by at that age. And Prince Odinga did not care. None of that mattered to him. All he wanted was money. He was heartless. He could care less if this woman had food to eat. He was heartless. All he cared about is gimme, 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 gimme because my family dead, my cat dead, my puss dead, my dog dead, my rat dead, my baby dead, my mama dead, my son dead, all these things. He doesn't even have a son. <laughs> yes. This is what you call masterclass scamming. This is what you call manipulating the environment. So this is what this guy did. He manipulated the environment to gain what he wanted, money. And had this woman sent him her last few dollars. And when that was not enough, he continued to lie and use the photograph of a woman who lost her two sons at the same time at the hands of police brutality. That was the photo he sent to this woman pretending that they were grieving his dead wife. So he faked this whole thing. 
for his own gain. Now tell me, how heartless could you be to go on the internet and pull pictures of people who are grieving their family, people who had, you know, horrific things done to their family and send it to someone in America and pretend that's your family grieving your wife, grieving your child. How heartless could you be, Prince Odinga? You should be ashamed of yourself. And here you are every day by the rocks, reacting, reacting on um um on 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 other on other people to get people to like you to get people to subscribe to you because what you think you're doing you're hammering us you're shutting us up but at the same time what you're doing is trying to gain these people trust so they could love you so much and then they get your number and you start texting them back and forth and then you start to scam them out of their money you are one of the biggest scammers that came out of the Yabahanse village. We all knew you were a liar. Sejo has been saying that you are a scammer for the longest time. And you know why people does not believe Sejo? Because people know that Sejo is a liar. So that's why they never believed him. But sometimes, you know, they all say, they say when you cry wolf too much, then people don't believe you. And yes, Sajo, that's why people never believed you. But apparently it is the truth that this guy is one of the biggest scammers. He lied and tell people that he had to leave the village because people were trying to unalive him. And all of this was a lie. He did this to gain sympathy from all the subscribers that he has and the ones that he's trying to gain so he can get money from them. This is what this guy is doing. And yesterday after Nairobi teacher broke the news, one minute into Nairobi teacher telling the story, I guess he was shocked to realize that now this woman came out to tell her side of the story. And apparently Nairobi teacher um, got the lady picture that he used involved, the lady who her sons died horrifically by the hands of, you know, the authorities. And it was some big in some big news in Kenya. Apparently, Nairobi teacher got a hold of this person, and they are you know doing their investigation, police investigation on on this now. And the woman who Prince Odinga scammed, I think, is also willing to come out and speak on what happened. I am pretty sure that Prince Odinga is going to try and turn the story around because this guy is a manipulator and a liar. So they are very good at this. So remember, I told you, he took the master class. He took Ayamawa's master class. That's what he did. So he knows how to manipulate the environment. So what he did yesterday, five minutes or a few minutes into Nairobi teacher um, doing his live, he came into the chat and he confirmed. Yes, he confirmed that what Nairobi teacher said is the truth. What this woman said is the truth. But he twisted. <laughs> he ran to his channel even before Nairobi teacher finished his live. This guy ran to his channel and began telling his side of the story. You know what that reminds me of, guys? That reminds me of, you know when you were in school um in lower school and someone you you know you mess up or someone did you something and you know that you're gonna get in trouble for it and so what you do you run home you run home to your parents run home and i've done it before i run home to my parents and i have to tell them first because why i want them to be on my side so i need to break this story to them first i don't need them to hear it from anywhere else so this is what um prince odinga did yesterday and we couldn't stop laughing when we saw what this guy did i couldn't believe it i'm like he didn't even finish waiting for nairobi teacher to complete his life to hear what nairobi teacher said to know that nairobi teacher has all the receipts um etc etc he ran to his channel of course to tell his side of the story and he twisted in a way, this guy is such a master manipulator. It is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He twisted in such a way that people were subscribing to his channel like crazy. He was now gaining sympathy. 
because now Nairobi teacher is the bad person who is bringing out lies on Prince Odinga. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I've seen the likes of um, what you what you call it, Janet Harrison, you know, all, D Doreen Small and Janet Harrison. And, and and Winnie Ball and all of them, they're supporting him. And these people are saying, you know, your past is your past. We love you. We don't believe. Your past is your past. And we're never going to judge you for your past. It is not a past. It is a present. This guy is a scammer. What are you talking about? His past is his past. It's not like this guy did this thing years ago. This was a recent, as recent as March, April, May, June. That he has been scamming people. What are you talking about? His past is his past. You guys remind me of those parents who shield those kids, who does bad things, who never say, you know what, you are wrong for doing this. If, if you did this, if this is true, you are wrong for doing this. Ask God for forgiveness. There are parents who will never say this to their kids if they do something wrong. They will always say, not my child, not my child. You're a liar. You're lying on my child. And this is how these children end up in jail because you shield them. And this is what these people on his channel are doing, shielding him. Making him believe that what he did was okay. So guess what? He can do it all over again because there will be no repercussions. There will be none. No one will hold him accountable for what he did. No one. So he's free to do it again. And if someone else sees that he can do that and get away with it, what do you think will happen? Other people will start doing the very same thing. Scamming, and this is why scamming is so popular in that region, specifically Africa. It's popular in Jamaica and India as well, okay? Because this is what people do. You know, scammers exploit our emotions and desire for quick gains to trick us into parting with our hard-earned money. For quick gain, convincing the older and the vulnerable people to part with their hard-earned money. And this is what Prince Odinga did to that old woman who has no food on her table, who told him, I am sorry, I work paycheck to paycheck. I don't have money. And he just laid it on her. He just laid the sorrow on her. He found pictures from all over the internet to send to this woman so she could feel sorry for him. So her heart could hurt and she could go into her pocket and take her last money that she has to buy bread and sent to him because guess what she cares for him she loves him and she doesn't want him to hurt and she doesn't want him to not have money to bury his d-e-a-d and when that was not enough <laughs> a few months later prince odinga sent her another text message to say that his child has d-e-a-d as well <laughs> his grown child grow not his baby not his baby that didn't make it not his unborn child or stillborn child his grown child has d-e-a-d and he sent her another picture of a grown child <laughs> and someone over the casket mourning this grown child that was not even related to prince odinga it was all lies he made up another story to get more money from this person how do you sleep at night prince odinga you are a nobody you are a drunk crow you are thief you are dog you are scammer you are a scammer you're the biggest scammer that came out of that village prince odinga you should be ashamed of yourself and Mara should put, put people like you in check. You are the ones who defending I am Mawa. Scammers. Let's see how the, the uh, are you there guy is going to defend this. Let's see what he's going to come with. You know, he is the attorney of all the scammers. You know who I'm talking. The guy who's always choking, choking, choking with the, um, with the cord around his neck. Him. Let's see how he is going to twist this. Or is he going to keep quiet or say to himself, let me get all the facts first before I jump on this and defend this guy? 
We are waiting. We're here and we are waiting. Okay. <laughs> Prince Odenga is a thief. He's a scam. <laughs> come for me. You all can come for me if you want, because guess what? I don't care. I hate, I despise scammers. There's this pastor who was in Brooklyn who did the very same thing to his congregation. You know where that man is. He's in jail. And up to the time of him going to jail, there were still people in that congregation who was fighting for this pastor who scammed a lot of people out of their hard-earned money. He's now in jail, spending years in jail because you're Dirty deed always catches up to you. People say, let God work it out. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that, with that. I will be the karma. And if people sit back and always waiting for God to work things out, these people will get away with everything. You have to take matters into your hands, okay? And don't allow these people to continue to scam you. And I am going to give this woman some blame as well. Because what grown older woman who is struggling in life in America it should pick up their money and send to a young strapping boy that can work? Why are these old women in America doing this? Are they this desperate? Please, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Why are they doing this? For what purpose? You are broke. You have absolutely nothing. And you are taking up your last few dollars to send to someone in, in Yabahanze village or in Kenya or anywhere around the world. Why? Because you like them? Tell me, does that make sense? If you don't have excess money, why are you doing this? I can understand if you had excess money, but you don't. So sometimes I don't feel sorry for these older women. And like I said, maybe she was one of those people like Doreen Smalls who, who was coming for us. Maybe she was. I don't know. So in this case, you know, I kind of don't feel sorry for people like them. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'll be honest with you because they were feeding them money to react more on us. They were feeding them money to hammer us more because that guy always had my picture on his channel reacting on me so that he can get views. <laughs> So yeah, I don't feel sorry for some of these older women, okay? They get on my nerve. So Prince Odinga is a swingler. He's a swingler. He's a scammer, a swingler. He bamboozle people using fake pictures. So let me put that out there on the air. But if you want to get the deets, like I said, go to Nairobi Teachers channel and get all the deets, all the receipts will be on Nairobi, Nairobi Teachers channel, okay? That's all I have to say. Now let's move on to Mogesi. <laughs> and what happened to Mogesi? So Mogesi was arrested recently and his channel was hacked and it is alleged that this was all a plot done by Ayamawa and Madame Parasite. Yes. They were upset that Mogesi has been, you know, saying that he is using um, the river to um, to leak. Sewage is leaking into the river from his villa and all that kind of stuff. And because Mogesi said that he worked there for free and slaved for him and he wasn't paid by Ayamawa. So there is some sort of conflict there between the two of them. So according to Mogesi, he purchased a phone from his painter. He did not know that the phone was stolen. And sometimes that happened. You know, people purchase secondhand phones all the time. So can you blame Mogesi for purchasing a phone that he had no clue was stolen? No. If someone comes to me and said, hey, I have a used phone, and people do that. They trade phones all the time. Even here in America, they trade phones. They sell used phones a lot and someone can't afford to buy a brand new phone. What are they going to do? Buy a used phone. So Mogesi purchased this phone from this guy who said he's selling this phone because He's in some sort of, you know, financial situation and he needs money. And apparently the phone was stolen. Immediately after Mogesi purchased the phone, the phone was tracked immediately to Mogesi. Now this phone was stolen a while ago, not the day when Mogesi got the phone. It was stolen a while ago. 
but they waited until the phone was in Mugesi's possession to call the police or to track the phone to him. So Mugesi now is saying that he thinks that this is a setup and it is connected to Villa, 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 Medellin because his is um immediately after he was arrested his channel was also hacked and word coming out of the villa via a snitch <laughs> there are snitches in the villa is that the swamp king i am mawa called his people in a meeting and showed them hey let's hack or we hack this let's hack this guy's channel or look how i deleted this guy's channel or whatever the case may be i don't know it is alleged so i don't know if it is true so i will just say it is alleged after i tried to get inside to my channel i found that my channel was got like hacked so I deep inside and signing in and I got some video were just deleted list. So immediately I got a call the DCI where I went there and they, there is a small case, not a small case but it is a huge case where there is a guy who was sold me a phone guys, which the one who was my painter here. After he sold me a phone and they that phone was tracked and it was for the stolen phone guys. So after there we went and make the we make sure we handle the case and right now I'm um, outside guys. So the saddest moment that I have come to there is is my channel has got stolen, has got hacked. I will just speak the truth about this where how everything it has come with these guys and uh, there is only one person who knows my password and is the one that one day he asked me to sign in my my account where actually is from tomorrow this Kake guys the one who was just knowing my password my youtube account my 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 youtube account password is so i think that one comes from there guys and they, i have made some of the confirmation and they, the guy who stayed there with the dreads has come already here and they told me that tomorrow yesterday yesterday night called ivan uh we have this masubo and uh, some guys who are stayed there and they shoot and he came with the laptop place and they told them that see from this and that there was it is my channel guys so from that i remember Malo was the one on saturday with his team they i was from my boutique they called me and they started telling me that we are going to see what is going to happen with their channel guys so that is the information that i received from them and uh, through that, that's how my channel has been hacked or stolen. And so that's what they did to Magesi. They're trying to delete Magesi from the village because apparently the Swamp King wants to purchase all the land in the Yabahanze village so that he can sell these lands to old people that will not be around for very long. Of course, he'll, his name will be on these lands these people old people won't be around for very long just like um jamaican grandma and who will gain from all these lands he will <laughs> so he's trying to make the lives of some of the villagers miserable so that they can leave the village because after a while people take set on you we say hey guess what 
he will just end up leaving because you're tired of it. But I will say to Magessi, do not leave. Stay there and fight. I don't know if what was done to him was done by the Swamp King. I don't know, okay? So I am not going to say it is true. It is only alleged that this happened. Do I put it past him? No, I don't. Because this guy went on live many times and said that, he will finish him. He will finish those boys. He made them and he can take away their channel. He said that many times on his channel. He also ordered people to go um, unsubscribe from these people's channel. So he's capable of doing certain things. If he can say things like that online or, you know, in the front of an, a, a huge audience, half a million audience, what do you think he's capable of off camera? Someone please tell me, for those of you who say that he's not capable of this, what do you think he's capable of off camera if he can do these things on camera? So yeah, I have reasons. Those are my reasons why I believe that he's capable of doing what uh, Mogassi said he did to him. And if he did to him, that is so, if he did that to him, that is so evil. Why? Why would you do this to a young man who is trying? Even if he's saying bad things about you, why can't you ignore it? You're a grown man. You have millions. You say you're wealthy and these other people are poor. Why just not just ignore him? It is ridiculous what is going on in there. But, I, you know, as people say, because he has money, he thinks that he now owns the village that he was not even brought up in. I'm telling you, he could not have done this stuff in Jamaica. No way. This man could do what he's doing to these younger generation. Are these boys in Jamaica? It doesn't matter how much money he has. He couldn't. He couldn't do it. I guess you people are softies over there. I don't know. You know? But don't allow people to take advantage of you and don't take matters into your own hands. That's the only thing that I am going to say to these boys. I know it is stressful, but please, please do not take matters into your own hands because these things can get out of control. You know, go to the authorities, you know, form a group together with, uh, with the other villagers that are having issues with them and you guys go to the authorities and see what can be done. But I will never advise anyone to take matters into their own hands in these instances okay because we don't want anyone going to jail we do not so please i'm begging you mogesi don't take matters into your own hands you and gintu i know that all this what's happening to you is hurtful but just be careful tread lightly and don't take matters into your own hands also get to complain that the stooge um masubo and ian the fish dory was at his comp his, his place he caught them on his property and there are people talking about so what if they were walking through his property no it is not okay you guys know that if you are somebody's enemy you do not belong on their property you should not be seen on their property why are you on their property can gintu go to mawa's property no he cannot in jamaica if you're upset with your neighbor and your neighbor is your enemy your dog, your foal, your cow, nothing. Even if a mango drop off their tree and drop on your property, it does not belong on your property. You pick it up and you throw it right back on their property. None of those things should cross your property. We know that this is how it works in Jamaica. So some of you Jamaicans who are on their channel, who are um, the Swamp King, um, the Swamp King uh, friend or whatever, or warrior, talking about oh it is okay if he if he do what what's what's the problem he if they're just walking on his property you know darn well that in jamaica that can never happen we have first of all we have a no trespassing sign people are there they have their no trespassing even if you are not enemies nobody can walk freely on your property there's a no trespassing sign and if you Trespass on somebody's property. What you get coming to you will be a cut ass. We know that. And who knows what those people were on Gintu's property trying to do. Who knows if they were also trying to set up Gintu so that he can be arrested. Either they were trying to set him up or they were trying to poison his fish pond. Why? What was the purpose of them being on his property around his fish pond? Why? Why? Please tell me, for those of you who are saying, oh, it's no big deal. 
To me, it's a big deal, and it should be to Gintu as well. And I like I tell these boys, I record them all the time just in case something happened. They probably was trying to plant something on that land, if you ask me, so that Gintu can be arrested to say that, oh, he stole something as well. That's probably what they were trying to do. You never know. You can't trust people, those people in that villa. You cannot. They are vindictive. They are vindictive. Vindictive. We have seen it on lives. We have seen how this man carried on. We have seen his attitude. We have seen how he tried to ruin people. We have seen what he did to Elia when him and Elia had a falling out and he went to a donor that had nothing to do with him. He seeked out and found Elia's donor, good donor, and told that donor not to give Elia anything anymore because he wanted Elia to suffer. This is how vindictive and evil this man is. So you're telling me that he's not capable of setting up um, Gintu and Magosi? Magosi? You're telling me he's not capable of setting up Gintu and Magosi? He is. He's very much capable of doing these things to them. Okay? Guys, guess what? All this stuff upset me. All I'm saying, boys, please don't get yourself in any trouble. Do not take matters into your own hands. That's all I'm asking you guys to do. Okay? Well, guys, that is it for today. I think I ran on a lot because I'm upset. But Prince Odinga is the biggest scammer in the village. <laughs> The biggest scammer that was the breaking news. And I can't wait for this woman to come and speak up about it. And if anyone else has been scammed by Prince Odinga, please come forward. Because if he used these pictures to this one woman, I'm pretty sure he sent the same pictures. This is how scammers work. They will send the same pictures to scam other people as well. So if Prince Odinga scammed you, please come forward. We beg. Come forward and tell your story. This young man needs to take responsibility for what he did. Say he's sorry. Say something. But stop lying and stop twisting the story. Stop twisting the story, Prince Odinga. You're a scammer. You're a thief. You are no good. I boozled people out of their money. <sighs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching me and have a good day. I wanted to talk about Davey, but driving miss daisy i wanted to talk about him <laughs> but time is not of essence today i have to go but i'm pretty sure someone will react on him <laughs> today okay well anyway talk to you guys later bye <laughs> we get to get out of here Yeah, got I'm getting dressed in the mirror here in the in the oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Thank you for watching and yes, I got to go. So and see you in my next one. I am over and out. <laughs> Bye.